Welcome back today as Fragile X Awareness Day. Fragile X is the most common cause of inherited mental impairment and the only known genetic cause of autism. And although many men and women are carriers of this disease, so many people have never even heard of it. So here to tell us more about it and a special conference that's coming up as well in November is UConn genetics doctor Sally Rosengren along with Andy Selinger of the Fragile X Society of Connecticut. Good morning. Thanks for coming on the show. Good morning. Good morning. Pleasure. Doctor, I'll start with you. What is Fragile X Syndrome? So Fragile X Syndrome is actually a group of conditions that all are caused by a problem in a gene on the X chromosome. And what most people, if they've heard of it, uh, think about is it does cause mental impairment and often autism in affected mostly males but also in affected females. Okay, so Andy, tell us your story because your two children have Fragile X Syndrome. Jody was born in 1990 at the age of 16 months. The pediatrician expressed a little concern about her developmental delays, walking mm -hmm. and uh, speech, and uh, suggested that we do evaluations. During that period of time, we spent a, approximately a year looking at, at different uh, areas. We went to a speech and language pathologist. We did uh, a EEG. Mm -hmm. We did an attempted MRI and uh, other developmental uh, uh, tests. Test. Uh, yes, so um, nothing was conclusive. Nobody gave us any real reason to be concerned about mm -hmm. what we were seeing with Jody. And, um, so when did you finally realize that it was Fragile X Syndrome? In uh, 1994, we received diagnosis for Jody. It started off with an, a tentative autism diagnosis. We had Jody evaluated by the town of West Tarford, where we live, and uh, was accepted into the preschool program. And a very astute social worker and teacher approached us and said, we, we're not qualified to make a, a diagnosis, but we think that Jody might have autism, and suggested some people to see. And luckily, they had suggested the right person mm -hmm. because uh, that individual is a developmental pediatrician and a geneticist, and did Fragile X testing just to rule it out. Mm -hmm. So doctor, how common is this that um, autism is connected with Fragile X and mm -hmm. how many families are going through what Andy has gone mm -hmm. through with both of his children? Correct. Um, so autism is found in about 30 to 40 percent of individuals with Fragile X syndrome. And if you flip that around, of everybody with autism, about five percent or so pro have it on the basis of Fragile X syndrome, so it's a common mm -hmm. uh, cause both ways. So, Andy, wh how has this affected your family and changed you? Because now you're, um, what's your official title? The Fragile X Society of Connecticut. You co-leaders. My wife okay. and myself are consider ourselves co-leaders. We don't have any fancy titles. So, um, how has this changed your life, and what in, do you want to say to other parents? In every way imaginable. And the first thing I'd like to say to every parent is that. Uh, if there's any signs of any developmental delays, be very vigilant and continue to uh, explore all possibilities of what the cause of those mm -hmm. delays may be. And first and foremost is any signs of autism test for Fragile X Syndrome because of its genetic nature and then in being inherited, a lot of people are at risk for also um, having Fragile X Syndrome. Now real quick, tell us about the conference that you guys have coming up in, in November. November 19th at the Yukon Health Center in Farmington will be our fourth annual conference and we're bringing in distinguished speakers from New York Institute of uh, Behavioral Research mm -hmm. in Staten Island as well as um, some local speakers and the, the uh, conference is going to be about transitions through education years and up to the working uh, environment for individuals with disabilities. Right. And as we wrap this up, Dr. Real quick, I want you to touch on how um, parents can be carriers and they won't even know mm -hmm. it and then they can mm -hmm. pass this mm -hmm. along to their children. Exactly. So Fragile X is carried. It's a, we consider it a family affair. If you find Fragile X syndrome in a child 
uh, per se. There is likely going to be somebody else in the family, usually the mother, okay. and the mother is often asymptomatic. She may have some mild symptoms, there are, uh, and but males can also be carriers mm -hmm. and pass it on to their daughters who then can pass it on to their sons. So it's a complicated family right. affair. Dr. Rosengren, Andy, thank you so much for sharing your story. For more information on this, we'll have that on our website, ctnow.com. We'll be right back after this break.